What's up guys? Welcome to Fishing the North Atlantic. This is the uh, predecessor? Yeah, the predecessor of Fishing Barrett Sea. The graphics are better, the boat models are better, the fish are better, and there's a lot of different things you can do in this game that you couldn't do in Fishing the Barrett Sea. Uh, so what I just did is I went through and I did the stupid little tutorial where you got a harpoon... Um, swordfish and I hate it <laughs> I really do hate harpooning swordfish but um, I did it I harpooned a whole bunch of them just so I can get some money and the reason why I need money is because I want to get out of sword fishing as or out of harpoon fishing as soon as possible and in order to do that you need money that way when you come into the dock and sell the fish you get some extra money I did take out a $30,000 loan, so I ended up getting $50,000. I took out $30,000 loan up to $80,000, as you can see right here. Uh, the reason why I did that is because there's a lot of stuff you have to do in order to deep line fish. Uh, one of those things is you need to set up for deep line fishing. So we're going to rig for that. That's $15,000 gone, just like that. Alright, um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get some fuel. We're going to change the name of the boat, which is free. I'm going to change it to Millie. Okay, I guess it's renamed. Um, I don't think we have any damage. Alright, good. Um, next thing we need to do is we need to hire somebody... Actually, let's not hire somebody just yet. We're going to have to do that, though. Um, let's go to fishing gear. We're going to buy some deep lines. We can hold eight deep lines. So we're going to buy all eight. And then we got to bait those deep lines. Now, I'm going for mostly tuna, although I might catch some uh, swordfish while I'm doing that. Um, so I'll just bait all eight with um, herring, which targets tuna for $80. So not bad. So that right there, right now we're good. We can go deep line fishing, except we need a crew member to, to help haul in the fish. Uh, so we're going to do this. Now, I do have a female captain, so my goal is to hire an all-female crew. Um, so I'm looking at a deep line. Let's see, you're three on deep line. Six, five, and seven. So it looks like Sadie is my best bet for deep line fishing. She's going to run me tw half of what I have left <laughs> just to get her. But um, I need it, so I'm going to hire her. We're good there. So now, actually, technically, we can go start our deep line fishing. However, there are some things that I want to do do before I do that I need well I don't need but I would like to do some upgrades um, the first upgrade that I really really want to do is I want to get a better radar so we're gonna add that what radars do is it shows you things that you can unlock like ships and uh, ships uh, fishing boats fishing ships and um, fast travel points so the better the radar, the further out it will see that for you, and the further out you can be to unlock it. So that's why I'm doing that. Um, don't really need a better engine at this point in time, so I'm not worried about that. Storage might become an issue, but it shouldn't be as of right now. Autopilot, I'm not worried about. Fishing quota, I'm not worried about. Um, fish sonar, we definitely want the best sonar. For deep line fishing so we're gonna add that I'm at 17,000 already um, we definitely want the best buoys we can get uh, searchlight not necessarily needed for deep line fishing so we can skip that I'm gonna go ahead and check out that'll leave me with about seven thousand uh, dollars six thousand <coughs> but because I bought stuff uh, my reputation at this particular port has increased. But, 
the main thing is currently rig for deep okay the main thing is is that we can actually do our deep line fishing I want to make sure Sadie's on board I don't want to leave her in the town so what we're gonna do is uh, for deep line fishing you're targeting tuna and you're targeting swordfish that are below the surface of the water so that's what we are going to do we are going to go try to find tuna and we're going to try to find uh, some swordfish but mostly tuna as you can see here um, we sold 4,000 pounds to Yarmouth and I completed the tutorial alright good um, something else for those of you who might start playing is uh, you want to come right over here so you can unlock this um, fast travel area and you want to come in right around in here because there's a boat that you can unlock there anyways we are going to try to get ourselves out of here and um, try to go find some uh, tuna and swordfish and I'm thinking these little islands right in here I know there's something that we can unlock right in here so we're gonna head over in this general direction and there's more to this game that I'll I'll go over as the time comes so don't worry about that um this is what I'm talking about if you see this you want to immediately go into uh, this view that way you can unlock the thing that you're trying to get alright um I don't need let's do let's see we'll do one over like that over here this is where we we'll grab our crew members I'm gonna put Sadie out here so she can start preparing the lines um, over here let's get some lights on because it is dark and uh, we're just gonna look for some fish that is our goal right now is we're gonna look for fish and we're looking for tuna and we're looking for swordfish and is that tuna that is a tuna right down there but I don't see a big school of them Ooh, but there is swordfish there so come on girl are you good can we drop this line baited was it not baited I, I could I didn't see um but anyways uh, that's what we're looking for this is tuna that swordfish those are the two icons we're looking for when it comes to deep line fishing we also want to be more than a hundred yards in depth that's kind of important Um, so I see some more going on here. Let's drop another line. Uh, with the fish finder that we have here, the right side of the fish finder is the front of your boat. The left side is the rear of your boat. So keep that in mind when you're looking at this. Oh, I'm still within 100 meters. All right. How about now now I'm dropping my lines here because there are fish in this area and they're all the fish that I'm looking for so that's the reason why I'm dropping lines <clears throat> the crappy part is is I baited mostly for tuna and there's mostly swordfish out here so I'm hoping the swordfish will bite that's what I'm really hoping for uh, we'll see what happens though they may they may not um, should I drop another one on this side of the islands I know I want to go to the other side of the islands to drop two we'll drop four there and I'm thinking I want to come over to this back side of the islands and uh, drop some there as well but if we get a nice school of fish that might change man it's, we got a lot of fish in here I'm gonna have to I think I'm just gonna go ahead and drop another line and just keep dropping lines until uh, I'm out 
<laughs> that's a tuna there. That's a swordfish there. I don't know what that is. There are a lot of swordfish in this area. They're all underneath the surface, though. If they're above surface, then it'd be great for harpooning, but they're not, so... It is what it is. I'm just... I don't know if I should continue dropping lines, even though there's a bunch of swordfish. I don't know. We got some tuna in the area. That's, that's our target, so... I guess I'll keep uh keep dropping lines. I got two more lines that I can drop. I mean it'd be great to drop them all on this side of the island, but I was hoping I can get to the other side too. And I only know to come to these islands because like I said I have played the game before. Um for a couple of hours just to kind of get the hang of it and by these islands there's there's always these schools of fish so it's it's always worth it to come down here the first go around um, obviously I should have baited for uh, the swordfish but I didn't that's my fault Not, nothing to be done about it now well, let's see that looks like a tuna right yeah, so we'll drop one right here. We got one more line that we can drop. And we're down here on the southern side of the island. We're going to start heading back up north, which is good, because that's kind of the way we need to go anyways. Um, while we're waiting for uh, fish to show up, well, oh, there's a swordfish right there. This is your compass, shows you where you're heading, and I think I'm gonna drop this last pot, last pot, this last line right there. Um, so this is your compass heading, obviously your fish finder. This is your weather. This is how you control your lights. That's how you access your fish finder. This tells you your storage and um, your equipment. And this tells you how long your lines have been in the water. This turns on and off your radio. That's like streaming music. This will call for help. And this is your crew management. So all our gear is good. I'm going to send her back inside because she is not needed out here. I'm a good boss like that. Now, what we want to do, since all of our lines are in the water, I'm going to go and position my boat to where we can start picking up the lines so yeah I guess that'll work cool then I press M again to come back in here uh, let's turn off the engine because we don't need it on right now press V to change views and over here inside your cabin you're gonna see a clock on the wall this clock is how you advance travel while you're out to sea. Not that clock, the clock on the wall. So we're going to advance, let's do two hours. I didn't hear nothing. Two more hours, nothing. Uh, three hours of work, nothing. Two, nothing. Three. Do I have any? Nope, still no bites. Usually you'll hear a little ding sound that says you got bites. And you'll get a notification like that. That tells us we have um, lines that have got bites on them, so we want to go and pick them up. So that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to dismiss those. We're going to get out, get her out here to uh, help us start hauling in the lines. I was wondering why the boat wasn't turning. <clears throat> I 
So when our markers are blue like this, that means they are ready to go. So we're going to see what we pick up. Hopefully we got something. Because we didn't bait for swordfish, we might have a couple empty lines. But we're going to find out. I'm going to drop the speed a little bit. That way we don't miss our buoy here. Let's haul that sucker in. <clears throat> now you see the target. What do we do with targets? We try to hit them, right? Same thing here. We're going to try to click right on that target. Perfect. All right. It's not exact. I will say that. It's not exact. Let's see. We got 400 pound of tuna. All right. <laughs> the animations, man. It kills me. Let's see what this one's got. I'd be happy, honestly, with, you know, 4,000 pound of tuna or 4,000 pound of fish. I don't know if we're going to get it or not. Uh, just because there was more swordfish here than tuna. And I wasn't planning on that. All right. We got another tuna. I saw two on this line. All right, cool. So this is going to be a good one. The most I've seen is three. All right, a thousand pound, thousand more pounds of tuna. That's good. Let's see what line three brings us. And now, nothing. Ouch. All right, let's see what line four gives us. I can't really complain, we're almost at 2,000 pounds. And I'd like to get at least four though. Looks like we got one on this one. Uh, only good. Oh well. 800 pounds? I'm not going to complain about 800 pounds. Let's see. Line 5 hasn't gotten a bite yet. So we're just going to skip line 5. We're going to head over to line 6. Uh, obviously this shows you that our props are turning here's our fuel gauge and here's how fast we're going you can change um, uh, what's it called you could change um, like miles per hour to knots or to kilometers all that good stuff um, you can do that in the options menu I did everything to American standards because I'm an American Although the metrics, the metric system is a lot better than the empirical system, I will say that. People who don't agree are just too stupid to do the metric system. Sorry if you're one of them. But I'm doing the empirical system just because most people will understand it. And it's less questions that I'll get in the comments. <laughs> so... <laughs> there you have it so that line was a bust let's see what line seven's got I've got almost half my uh, my storage filled up so I can't complain too much could be doing worse Alright, we got some fish on this line. Looks like we only got the one though. Ah, uh, dang it. There we go.
Only 400 pounds. That miss probably didn't help none. I'm really surprised that other line ain't got nothing yet. Let's see what line number eight has, and then we'll go back and uh, see what we can get for that other line, if anything. It should have had a bite. So that's what kind of bothers me, is it should have had a bite by now. All these other lines had a bite. We had two, two duds, I think, where nothing was actually on the line. Make that three. <laughs> All right, well, let's head back this way. And we're going to send Miss Sadie back to rest because she don't need to be out here. Yeah, all right. And we're going to uh, advance the time again. Let's do two hours. All right. Deep line bite. Let's go see if anything came of it. Sadie, get your cute little butt back out here. I'm really hoping we hit something on this one because if we get 3,000, that's at least half of what we can hold. And, uh,. I can't really complain about that. I'd like to get more than that, but I can't really complain. 4,000 pounds was the target, but I don't think we're going to get it. Unless this line is, like, phenomenal. Which is probably not because, you know, I haven't gotten any swordfish. Nothing. Daggummit. Alright, well, Sadie, why don't you come on back inside, girl? Um, you know, we're pretty close over here, so I think we're just going to head over into that port. I think this port's going to have better prices anyways, if I'm completely honest. Oh, you see that? There was something over there. So we're at Dennis Point. We're going to park over in Dennis Point, and, uh, you know, we might bait for, a uh, swordfish, since there's a whole bunch of them over there by them islands. Um, we'll see. For now, we got to sell what we've got, and, um, maybe do some upgrades. I know I want to get a better hook, so I can get, uh, increase our poundage. I don't know if we're going to be able to afford a better hook, though. better engine would be nice. This one's pretty slow. I mean, it does the job, but, you know. 12 knots, or 12 miles per hour, 14 miles per hour. Alright. I guess it's not bad. It could be better. We got here. Ooh, dang, that hurts. Tuna usually sells for nine pounds or nine dollars a pound. We're only getting five. Only sixteen thousand. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. Oh, oh, that hurt. All right, well, let's get some fuel. Whatever. I don't know how we damaged the hole. Um, what do we got? Twenty-two grand. Um. Shoot, man. Let's see. Can we get a better hook for 22? We can get... Uh, we can get an aluminum. 6% bigger fish. That's 8% bigger fish. I think we'll do just fine with that. Going broke. Um, We also need to... Bait our deep lines. You know what? We're going to go after them swordfish, man.
We didn't get good on tuna, so we're going to try to swordfish. But, um, that will be for the next episode. Actually, you know what? Let's see what kind of boats we have over here in the shipyard. What do we got? We got the Toby, which is uh, a netting, long line, and net. All right. The Legend, which is a uh, harpoon and deep line. Ooh, I'd really like to get that. 675 grand, though. Oh, man, it's purdy. It's so purdy. And then we got the full throttle, which is just like the legend, just a little bit bigger. Ooh, look inside that cabin. Oh, that's really pretty. I kind of want that. Either one of these boats I'd be happy with. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. That's just really, really nice. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Alright, well, that's going to be in the future, I guess. Because <laughs> we're definitely going to get a better a better uh, harpoon and uh, deep line boat. But until then, um, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, as always, be safe, be cool, have fun, and we'll catch you next time.